I'm recording this on a GoPro since it's about using the Xbox screen capture and it needs to be documented this way. I think it makes a lot more sense. So right down here, I'm using this really big cursor so we can see what's happening. So right down here is this, right here is this Xbox so here it is here. I'm going to close it. All right, that closes it. So if I hover over it, you can see it says X box game bar. Now we'll click on that. And this bar up here comes up. There, this is enable click through. So in case there's something you're doing and you want to click on your game or whatever you're doing. It won't click on the recording device. So here's the widget menu and click on that and you have audio capture. We're going to only be dealing with two things. We're going to deal with the capture here. You click on that and see it comes up. I need to put this pin in it right there. Put that pin in it. And then it'll stay there. And if there's something happening underneath, it will click through if you have it set to enable click through. Now, the other thing is the widget menu. You can put the audio up here and turn the audio on and off. We're just going to leave it set to the max, so I'm not going to pin it. I'm going to let it go behind the scenes. And so here's another interesting one is performance. It tells you what your CPU, your graphics processor unit, your RAM, all of that is is in there and sometimes that's interesting to use and it has this performance options what you can see and what you don't want to see so we're just going to put that away and oops see I clicked on something and it all goes away bring it back and there it is so notice that right now I can't record anything but if I go over here and I click on this, this is Google Earth, and I click on Google Earth, it shows up right there, Google Earth. If I click back on here, it doesn't want to record anything. Also, with this file explorer, it won't record anything with File Explorer. So we can, I can park that down here. Uh, pretty much everything else will record, but it's not going to record outside the screen that we're recording on. So let's take a look at my performance so you know what we're dealing with here. So I just type in about A, B, and it's about your PC, and it has the system settings. Well, it came up over here. Let's see if we can move it back. Move it back over here, and you can see what I'm running. Now notice, this button comes up, so I can record anything that I'm doing in, in this. I'll actually activate this in a second. Let's see, I, I'm not able to move this around right now. Let's record this. See, I'm not able, I don't like it that I can't move this around, so I'm going to come down here and click on the game bar, and it goes down, now it goes down here. This is another little auxiliary screen. And I'm going to click on this yet again and there it comes back up here. Now if I exit out, it's gone, but the game bar is still up here. So let's see 
the widget menu, I want the capture back, and there it is. Now, when I press, see it's now not gonna record anything. There's nothing here. But if I click on this, oops, there it goes again. Where did it go? Bring it back. If I click on System About, you know, this is great that we're having this problem. What I'm not doing is I have to pin it right there. I got to pin that. I'm actually able to move it now, but I can't move it over there. So it's pinned, but there is nothing showing up here. Let's have it record settings. This is a static window, but it will show my cursor. So let's start recording. And you'll see this in a split screen. I'll put a split screen. Now notice this little thing comes up and you can set where that comes up. And if you put this over there, it will come up in front of it. But you can, in the settings, you can have this come up where pretty much wherever you want. But it won't bother your game. Like I, you can click through it once you have the settings right. So, I'm running a, let's see, ZenBook Pro Duo, right? It's a i i9 10980HK, runs at this speed, has, it's Windows 11 Pro. All right, now, we're recording this, so you'll see in the split screen, I'll put over here, all the cursor moving around and everything. So now I'm going to stop the recording here. Game click recorded. Now where this game clip gets stored, if you click show all captures, see it wants to record Google Earth, show all captures, there we go. This comes up and where this is stored is in See, open file location. This will open a new app. Yes, it will open File Explorers. Actually puts it down here. We'll drag it up. So you can see these captures are all made in videos. And from my reading, these you can move this directory anywhere and it will store whatever you capture in it. Now these are the two videos that we just captured. All right, now let's put that away. And see, I, it won't let you record this file down here or the desktop. But we'll go over here to Google Earth. Let's see, it shows up there. And I'll press on this, start recording. So now I'll record this and it'll be on a split screen over here. And now we can talk about, uh, what I wanna talk about is Ukraine, and I'm going to be walking in a, down a city in Kiev. And Kiev is the capital. Let's zoom in a little bit more, it should show up. Okay, so here's Ukraine, you can see the border there. And here's Moldova, see if I, Hold the cursor down. And here's Georgia, right here. And this is Crimea. And this area here is Donbass. I saved a project named Crimea. Click on that and see Crimea comes up. Oh, it's zooming, it likes to zoom in right on it. And let's go back over here and click on the Donbass. So that shows up. Let's see if we can get them to both show up. There, now they're both showing up. Crimea and Donbass. So this is where the little green men from Russia came across and since this, along this border here, these people in Ukraine speak Russian. And as the further you move across here, they speak Ukrainian. So these people are more sympathetic 
to Russia, and there was a, a leader that was elected to the president, and some things happened, which we'll talk about later. And since uh, Mr. Putin's warm water naval base for all of Russia is right here in Sevastopol, and they were not thinking that they wanted to have this warm water naval base inside a western friendly country because they were moving to the west so they uh, i don't know enabled or empowered some unrest here with the russian speakers and they just came in and silently took over this so this part of this is ukraine is now destabilized and that means that they can't join NATO. And the same thing happened in Moldova. There is a sliver of land here on this side called Transnistria, and it has Russian troops in it. So Moldova cannot join NATO. And the same thing over in Georgia, here's the Georgia border. Up here is uh, Abkhazia and South Ossetia. And notice that there's along the Russian border and um, they were sympathetic and so some stuff got stirred up and Georgia uh, cannot join NATO. So, you know, you can kind of appreciate that Moscow is right here and to have these countries point ballistic missiles at Moscow and have them their na warm water naval base be threatened it's not something that that they want to see happen so so this country and this country and Ukraine are destabilized now, at some point, I want to talk about what happened to the USSR. All these countries were part of the USSR. And when the USSR uh, split up in 1991, um, a bunch of countries, like 14 or 23, were spun off. And then the, these countries became friendly to the West. And Georgia, in particular, which is where we'll talk about the Red Army and the White Army and the Red Army won, but so the White Army was forced to Georgia and so, you know, they aren't particularly sympathetic to what goes on in the Russia Federation. Anyway, so having said all that, we'll come down here and press stop. And the game clip is recorded. And now I'll take that footage and this footage that's on the GoPro and put it together and demonstrate how this can work. <laughs> 